so. Now I have to do work again I have already done. Get out. Get out. Just when things were getting better, I've ruined them. He'll probably never speak to me again. He'll forget all about the tickets. Oh, come on. Mr. Beethoven is famous for his temper. His moods aren't your fault. But imagine how frustrating his life must be. He hears no voices, no wind in the trees, no pealing of bells. Imagine he hears no music, not even his own. So he has a temper. Who wouldn't? But Christoph, when you hear his music, you know that he has a great heart. Too great to be angry for long, especially with a friend. There, Your Royal Highness. You can come off your high horse now. Uh, my dear madam, I, uh, I apologize for my inexcusable behavior. And I, I, I thank you for the, 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 the favor. If I may ask another one of you, please give these tickets to the boy. You know, you're not half bad when you keep a civil tongue in your head. Too excited, so am I. But you should try to sleep. Tomorrow will come soon enough. I wonder what he's thinking of. He's hearing something beautiful in his head.
Mr. Beethoven couldn't even hear us. Finally, Uncle Kurt and one of the sopranos turned him around. Mr. Beethoven bowed and bowed. That concert seems so long ago. And now, he's gone. But I think his music will never die. Mr. Beethoven once told me he thought he could change the world with his music. Maybe he will, bit by bit. <laughs>